What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another video. Today we talking about three of the hottest new basketball sneakers on the market, the Luka 1, the Tatum 1, and the Zion 2. All three performance sneakers under the Jordan brand umbrella which has been on fire in the 2022-2023 NBA season. All three of these shoes are selling a lot better than some of the retros that have been releasing this far. And in this video we're going to go over each colorway of each silhouette which is pretty dope man. So sit back, eat your popcorn, give me your feedback and let me know your top 10 list through all silhouettes, of course, in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's get into these sneakers, you dig? The first Luka we're gonna talk about is the Signal Blue colorway, which dropped November 5th for a retail price of $110. These came in black, Signal Blue, Siren Red, and Metallic Silver as the color scheme, and definitely one of the best ones, especially coming out the gate. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway overall. And like all of the Luka 2s, they do come with the new ISO plate system with the full length Formula 23 performance foam. I do feel like this is a great colorway to come out the gate, majority black shoe with hint of color. I do love the splatter going around the midsole. The shoe is very comfortable i did a full review on my main channel let me know what you guys think about the luca one overall and to rate it from a one to ten scale i would give it a solid eight next up we got the luca one neo turquoise which dropped october 7th for a retail price of 110 dollars these came in white metallic silver neo turquoise and bright crimson as a color scheme nodding to the uniforms worn by real madrid i like that this shoe is paying homage to the real madrid team basically representing his hometown for the second silhouette that is a pretty solid move if i had to rate this colorway from a 1 to 10 I would give it a solid 7 majority white with a little hint of colorway it is fire especially for the summertime but not for me personally the third colorway to release was one of my favorites the University Red that dropped December 19th for a retail price of 110 bucks as you can see this has a University Red base with metallic gold accents which definitely adds a little touch and makes it look a little bit more regal these Lucas are very impressive the upper features that breathable flywire frame and cables on the lateral side also helps for containing the foot all the details of this shoe is really on point and an all red colorway you just can't go wrong with that from a 1 to 10 scale i would give this a solid nine and a half maybe even a 10. next up is the kawaii 54 luca one which dropped october 24th for the retail price of 110 bucks this right here is one of the best colorways in my opinion as well white light bone neutral indigo was the color scheme some details on this shoe include the graphic tongues inner booty and heels with the kawaii 54 branding on the left tongue and insole this color combination definitely stands out to me the majority gray with the navy blue and then the red accents also gives me usa vibes this is definitely one of the more solid colorways to come out for the Luka 1. Let me know where this ranks for you of all of them that have dropped. In my opinion, this is definitely one of the best colorways. I've never got a chance to see this in person, so I'm definitely giving it a 9 out of 10. If I saw it in hand, it probably will be a 10 out of 10 because the colorway is just so crazy. Let me know what you guys think. Next up, we got the Luka 1 Habitat, which dropped October 3rd, 2022 for a retail price of 120 bucks. So $10 more than the previous models, and I'm not exactly sure why football gray volt dark marina blue and cell was the color scheme as you can see these have a football gray base with the volt green and dark marina blue accents i do like this color combination it looks a little bit more detailed than some of the other ones maybe that's why it's 120 instead of 110 very solid colorway if i had to rate this one from a 1 to 10 it's definitely an 8 but let me know if you guys agree with that and where does this one fall in the line for you next up let's talk about the reverse orca which dropped november 8th 2022 for a retail price of 110 bucks white black and volt is the color scheme as you guys can see it has a white base with the black detailing and the volt green accents i do like the hint of the volt green on this shoe it's a white and black shoe so you can match it with anything looks really good on the court let me know what you guys think about this one compared to some of the other colorways especially the oreo colorway which is pretty much the reverse of this one i'm not mad at this shoe if i had to put a rating on it from a one to ten it's a solid seven and a half let me know what you guys think this next luca colorway is one that's more unique to me i do like this colorway a lot the racer blue which dropped october 11th 2022 for the retail price of 110 dollars coming in that racer blue ghost green racer pink gamma blue and fierce purple you cannot go wrong with as you can see this has a racer blue base and i am a fan of the ghost green accents that pop out on the toe box 
the heel cuff and of course the outsole most of the character is on the outsole with all of the colorways blending together but i am a big fan of this racer blue base and this is definitely one of the better colorways if i had to rate this from a one to ten this is a solid nine for me next up we got the jordan luca bread aka long range let me know if you guys are liking this colorway it dropped october 25th for the retail price once again of 110 bucks coming in the black base with the university red and dark gray color scheme this definitely was one that stood out of course deemed the bread black and red you can't go wrong with the black base and red accents on almost any shoe let me know what you guys think about this Luca one this is definitely one of the more solid colorways and low-key coveted it does have a little resale value to it especially in bigger sizes i think that all black shoe with the red accents just does something to the people out there let me know what you guys think about it and if i rate it from a one to ten it's a solid eight next up we got the Luca one next nature light or with brown these dropped in march of 2023 for the retail price of 130 dollars so twenty dollars more than a normal retail price these came in light or with brown light menta black barley green and laser orange these lucas came with a mix of materials as well as the light or with brown base with the light menta black and barley green accents definitely more of an elegant and expensive look for this luca one that's why it's 130 for the retail price point let me know what you guys think about this colorway if i had to rate it from a one to ten this right here is a solid eight and a half nine because of the extra good materials they put on here and the colorway is just different from what we've seen out of all the other releases thus far but give me your thoughts in the comments the next jordan luca that we're going to talk about is the fire red also dropped in 2022 for the retail price of 110 bucks this one right here, of course, the white base with the fire red accents, hence the fire red Jordans that they've always came out, just like we've seen the bread colorway of the Luca one earlier in this video. I like the fact that Jordan brand kind of keeps the theme with some of their other silhouettes. And this right here is the fire red. Doesn't really hit like some of the other fire red that we've seen when it comes to Jordan brand, but this colorway is solid. The white base with the red accents. You can't go wrong with that, but for me personally, from a one to 10 scale, I'm giving this a solid six and a half, seven. The shoe doesn't have a lot of character. It's more about the name. That's why I got a seven from me. Next up, we got the Sport Blue, which dropped November 22nd for a retail price of 110 bucks. I do like this Sport Blue coming in the white, white, and Sport Blue color combination. Not a bad colorway, but it's very similar to the Fire Red. Pretty much a white shoe with the accents of the colorway, which I'm not mad at, but it's very basic, and we're rating this from a 1 to 10 based on how I like the shoe. I would give this one also a solid 7, but it might look really clean on the court. Let me know if you guys own this colorway or the Fire Red and give me your thoughts on it. Next up, we got a special look Luca one which dropped january 21st of 2023 for the retail price of 110 bucks this is the year of the rabbit luca one definitely not a bad colorway at all of course paying homage to the year of the rabbit let me know what you guys think about this one as you guys can see this has like a sail white base with the green red and gold accents paying homage to the year of the rabbit they do have rabbit maltese behind the tongues which is a different touch to the lucas compared to all the other ones let me know what you guys think about this colorway wasn't really easy to get it is unique and i think because of that that's why i give this one a solid seven and a half eight as well the colorway is cool i do like the theme but it's just not good enough to be a nine or a ten next up we got the jordan luca one oreo which dropped january 30th 2023 for a retail price of 110 bucks we definitely tried these on and did a full review on my main channel bosco mitchell the colorway is solid all black upper with the white accents you can't go wrong with that i like the fact that it's more stealth like and if I had to rate this from a 1 to 10, it's a solid 8 just because the white, the black, then you have the splatter on the accents on the side of the shoe, which give it that Oreo feel. Let me know what you guys think about the. Next up, we have one of the more unique Jordan Luca ones. This is the Safari colorway, which dropped February 17th around All-Star Weekend for the retail price of 110 bucks. White, total orange, and black is the color scheme for this shoe. And like all Lucas, these feature the breathable flywire frame cables on the lateral side, but these are detailed with Safari print on the left shoe and elephant print on the right shoe, giving it that Safari theme. Orange contracting accents throughout the shoe. You can't go wrong with this color combination. I did see these in person and I like these a lot. From a one to 10, this is a solid nine. Let me know what you guys rate this. The next Luca I wanna talk about is the Next Nature Real Madrid in the Wolf Gray colorway. This one dropped March 14th, 2023 for the retail price of $120. This Luca 2 came with some interesting colorways. Wolf Gray, Lapis, Black, Kumquat, Ghost, and Cool Gray as the color scheme. Not a bad thing. I like the colorway. And as you can see, it has a mix of materials from the leather and the suede on there. Of course, you have the mesh fly wire. I do like what I see with this colorway. This one here is more unique and gives me ACG or Phoenix Sun type vibes. 
from a one to 10 scale. That one is solid, nine and a half, maybe even a 10. I'm a big fan of this colorway. Next, I wanna talk about this Jordan Luca One Easter that dropped in April for a retail price of 110 bucks. Mint foam, racer pink, and court purple was the color scheme for this shoe. Sometimes I see it and I like it. Sometimes I think it's an easy pass. I love the colorway of the mint foam base with that racer pink. It, it, does, it looks good, but at the same time, I'm not sure how I feel about it. If I had to rate it from a one to 10, because I'm, I'm so unsure, I would give this a solid seven and a half, eight. But you let me know if you guys like this. Is this more a top tier Luca colorway or more towards the bottom of the tier? Give me your thoughts about that in the comments below. Next up, we got the Luca One Dog Dad, which dropped May 1st for a retail price of 110. These come in white, black, bleach coral, and sesame as the color scheme. These were called the Dog Dad because Luca Dantich owns two dogs, a white Swiss Shepherd, as well as a Pomeranian. You'll see little paw prints on the insoles to represent dogs. Other notable details include the black detailing on the branded areas and pastel pink accents on the pull tabs. Let me know what you guys think about this, of course, in the comments below. And do you own dogs or cats? Give me your thoughts. Rating this from a one to 10, a solid step. Next up, we got a special one. This Next Nature Noise Aqua that dropped June 27th of 2023 for the retail of 120 is by far one of the best Luca colorways in my opinion. These come in Noise Aqua, Blue Lightning, Dark Obsidian, Glacier Blue, and Laser Crimson, which is a crazy color combination. This color combination is definitely on point. That Noise Aqua base with the suede and mesh materials, definitely an elegant look. You would think it was priced a little higher but it's not haven't got a chance to see this in person but by far this is one of the best colorways this for me is easily a nine or a ten let me know what you guys rate this in the comments below next we have a unique colorway that kind of fell through the cracks at one point i thought it was a gray school exclusive but then i see that it did come in men's sizes let me know what you guys think about this colorway overall black lime glow and green glow is the color scheme i'm not mad at this luca shoe like i said i was told it was a gray school exclusive but then i see it in men's sizes it looks pretty unique i'm not mad at the color scheme if i had to rate this one from a one to ten it's a solid seven and a half just because it kind of came out of nowhere and i don't know how i really feel about it let me know what you guys think have you seen it in person do you have it in your collection give me your thoughts about it. this next luca is something that fell through the cracks and is very exclusive a lot of people do like it and the resale market for this thing is kind of crazy in all sizes the Imaginarium is definitely one of those colorways that stands out. The detailing of it was pretty dope. It does come in a white, fire pink, and dynamic turquoise color scheme. These feature a white base and shades of fire pink on the exposed underfoot with the orange accent speckled on the midsole. I do like that a lot. The upper stitch with barley visible hints with the dynamic turquoise. I like that they have the stitching under the fly wire. It does give this Luca a much more exclusive look. They should have did that on more of the Lucas out there. Being that this does have resale value, does not move the needle for me. If I had to rate this from a one to 10, this is still a solid seven. But let me know what you guys think about it, of course, in the comment section below. First up is the Zoo colorway of the Jason Tatum one. These dropped April 7th for a retail price of 120 bucks. Black, metallic gold, university gold, and beach is the color scheme. This offering of the Jason Tatum one is inspired by Jason Tatum's enjoyment of taking his son to the zoo. That's why it comes with different animal patterns covering its upper with the phrase, welcome to the zoo printed on the insoles. The shoe also features the lightweight TPU reinforcement frame. These things are light when you have them in hand. 120 is a great price point for them. And I do like this colorway. Let me know what you guys think overall about the Jason Tatum zoo and where does this one rank among all the colorways that have dropped so far and rating it from a 1 to 10 this right here out the gate is a solid 8.5, 9 the next release was the St. Louis colorway which dropped April 15th for the retail price of 120 bucks these came in white university red university blue and university gold as a color scheme nodding to his hometown Cardinals powder blue uniforms the shoe of course is lightweight like all of them I do like this color combination the white and light blue definitely gives me the St. Louis vibe Vibes or even the Houston Oilers vibes. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway. For the second one, I think this was not a bad second choice for them to release it. From a 1 to 10 scale, I would give this one a solid 7. I do like the white base with the blue accents, but I'm liking the zoo a little bit better. Give me your thoughts about this one, of course, in the comment section below. So far, they're 2 for 2 with the zoo.
Kalamazoo colorway and the St. Louis one. The third colorway to drop was the Barbershop colorway on May 16th for a retail price of 120 bucks. And to me, they're three for three. Coconut milk, black, laser blue, and metallic gold is the color scheme. All the details to this shoe is definitely on point. Some notable details about this Barbershop colorway is the JT logo embroidered on the tongues as well as Tatum's number zero on the heels with the Barbershop pull tabs. I like the detailing. I like the color combination. You can't go wrong with this shoe. And if I had to rate this from a one to 10, to me, it's about a nine or a 10. Once you have these things in hand, they're very impressive. And I didn't think it was gonna be like that before I actually got to see these things in person. So if you have an opportunity, check these things out. Let me know what you guys think about the Jason Tatum Barbershop colorway. They were very strategic with the releases when it came to these Jason Tatums. This one right here is the Pink Lemonade colorway, which dropped June 20th, perfect time during the summer vibes. Whether you're hooping on the court or wearing them for casual wear, I like this color combination for both situations. Let me know what you guys think about this color combination pink tint barley volt lava glow and aura green was the color scheme much like other tatum ones it has the jt logo and border on the tongues tatum zero on the heels but this one has the lemonade graphic on the insoles which is just a different touch to give you that pink lemonade vibe one to ten this is definitely a nine out the gate let me know what you guys think about the pink lemonade colorway this next tatum one did not release to the public it's actually part of a pe pack for the bal basketball african league and their championship teams that played in the finals there's two jordan 30 seven and this jason tatum one which are player exclusive i just want to take the time to show it because i thought it was definitely fire and of course rating this from a one to ten i think this is a ten i wish this is something that we were able to get as a consumer but it is what it is let me know what you guys think about this and what do you guys rate this tatum next tatum release was the old school colorway which dropped july 15th for the retail of 120 bucks black metallic silver and wolf gray is the color scheme of course this right here is resembling tatum's air jordan 14 mustang PE. I do like that colorway, but this one is definitely fire as well. Let me know if you guys like this color combination from a 1 to 10 scale on this Tatum. I would have to give this one a solid 8. I do like the color scheme, majority black with the gray hints, but I had a chance to see these in person and wasn't as impressed as I was when I saw the images of them. But let me know what you guys think about these and rate these from a 1 to 10, of course, in the comment section below. Next up, we got the Jason Tatum 1 Cool Gray, which is dropping December 12th for a retail price of 120 bucks. You can never go wrong with a Cool Gray color scheme of course this has the knitted mesh upper with the hill counter and tpu reinforcement in that signature cool gray color scheme you can never go wrong with that of course you have some patent leather touches on the overlay which adds a different touch to this vibe let me know what you guys think about this tatum one colorway and rating it from a one to ten i give it a solid eight the cool gray looks good on this silhouette i'm not gonna lie but uh i don't know if i'm grabbing it for myself but it is pretty fire next up we got the jordan tatum one pure money colorway dropping later in 2023 for the retail price of 100 20 bucks white and gray fog is the color scheme with white dominating the majority of the shoe with gray fog accents especially on the stitching of the jordan logo on the heel i like this color scheme right here definitely a different vibe from what we've been seeing so far rating this from a one to ten scale being that it is an all white shoe it's an easy seven and a half for me but they might look even better in person and i cannot wait to get these in hand give me your thoughts of course in the comment section below are you guys a fan of the jason tatum pure money and to do a little comparison let me know which one you guys are liking more. Are you feeling the pure money or do you like the St. Louis colorway? Comment down below. Next up, we got the Jason Tatum black and white or Panda, if you would like to call it that, releasing later this year for the $120 retail price point, dominating with the black and you have white accents all throughout the shoe. This is definitely a subtle look, but definitely can match with anything out there. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this colorway. Black and white is not bad. Of course, it gives me TB, team basketball vibes, but I believe this is just labeled as one of his colorways that are dropping. Like I said, give me your thoughts about these and rate this from a one to 10 for me personally. It's about a seven and a half, eight, because you can match it with anything, but I don't know how much I would really like to have this in my collection. Next up, dropping October 20th for the retail of 120 is definitely a fire one I look forward to, the Wave Runner. I like this color scheme of Lagoon Pulse, Pink Blast, Psychic Purple, White, Lemon Glow, and Black. 
you can't go wrong with this definitely one of the ones with the most color or most vibes to the shoe this right here stands out and is a head turner from a 1 to 10 scale i give this an easy 9 maybe even a 10 i hope it lives up to the pictures once we see it in the hand we'll definitely revisit this but from what you're seeing in the images let me know what you guys think about this color scheme and rate it from a 1 to 10 in the comments below next up let's talk a little bit about the jordan tatum 1 denim colorway which dropped august 10th for the retail price of 120 dollars this right here is paying homage to Jason Tatum's distinctive pregame style with creativity. I like the fact that they have the stone blue, university red, mystic navy, photon dust, and wheat as the color scheme. You can't go wrong with that. It does give out denim vibes and all images that I've seen of this shoe. It definitely looks impressive. This Jordan Tatum one denim colorway is definitely one of the best by far. I do like how it officially looks like some denim material on the upper. I like the color combination and the theme. I see that Jordan Brand is putting a lot of thought into the marketing behind his shoes, which is a great thing. Let me know what you guys rate this from a 1 to 10 and would you guys be adding this to your collection. So far, so good when it comes to the Jordan Tatum 1 releases that have been available to the public. Right now, we're going to look at a couple Jason Tatum PEs that would be dope if they actually released to the general public, but who knows if they ever will. Let me know what you guys think about this one on the screen. This right here is definitely a standout. This is the blueprint colorway. Rumored to maybe release, but who knows? I think this is going to be more of a player exclusive, but if it definitely released, I will be grabbing a pair of this this one then we also got another pe out here too which i'm not fully sure what this has anything to do with maybe quad 54 it kind of looks like it has those logos on there but the jason tater one has definitely been impressive by the colorways that we've seen just in this video i know more colorways are to come but let me know what you guys think about so far from what you've seen this is the shoe that zion wore during the 2022 2023 nba season about 20 silhouettes out there to choose from and we're going to talk about each and every one of them i want to know your thoughts and opinions of them which one ones you guys like which ones you guys hate zions come with mixture of materials like leather mesh and canvas they all have that new air zoom four foot strap along with a new strobo unit which is pretty dope these shoes are comfortable as well without further ado let's go ahead and get into these zion tools let's go First up, we got the Jordan Zion 2 Voodoo, which dropped June 22nd for a retail price of $140. This was honestly one of their best shoes and great option to come out the gate with as far as, you know, the hype and everything that went with this shoe. Flak, muslin, sesame, Fiona Brown, oil green, and moon fossil was the color scheme. This did come with a mix of canvas and suede materials with the pony hair tongues. Other details included that Voodoo skull logo on the heels which is really dope you had the stitching that also stood out on the shoe and the color combination was just perfect for the summertime these came with a cream midsole and a gum outsole these also had a decorative theme going on with the insoles they came in special packaging with extra laces and there was also a jordan one low that kind of came in a pack with this shoe they didn't release together but they released at the same time and that jordan zion one is definitely going for big bucks right now let me know what you guys think about the voodoo zion Two. Next up, we got the Jordan Zion 2 Hope Diamond that dropped June 30th for a retail price of $120. You can never go wrong. This Hope Diamond came with a white base with a multicolored design on the tongues, angle, and the heel areas. Other details include the 90s inspired Zoom Air 4 foot straps, Zion signature logo on the tongues, along with his initials carved into the toe on the outsole, which is a unique touch to the shoe. I've tried these on and they're definitely comfortable and I like how they feel on the ground as well as the court. I feel that this was more of a subtle colorway that people gravitated to because of the white base and the character going on on the heels and ankle collar. I think these were very unique. From a 1 to 10 scale, I would rate those probably a solid 7. Next up, we have the Dynamic Turquoise, which dropped July 6, 2022 for a retail price of $120. These came in white, vault, black, and dynamic turquoise, also constructed with a mix of leather and mesh materials. In my opinion, this Dynamic Turquoise was a pretty solid color way if i had to put a rating on it from a one to ten scale i would give it a solid six and a half seven as well i do like that it has a majority white but i wish there was a little bit more color 
on the upper to kind of hit off with the accents like that turquoise maybe get something on the strap just something else i think should have been done to make this even better in my opinion but overall rate this one in the comments and let me know what you guys think about the dynamic turquoise this next zion 2 was a special one representing 25 years in china very unique colorway and it retail also for 120 bucks these come in a crystal inspiration featuring a holographic detailing on the overlays and heels you have zion branding on the tongue and insoles a celebrated branding on the heels which is a pretty unique situation the packaging is even different and it does come with extra lace did you get your hands on these they were pretty exclusive the 25 years in china zion 2 rate this from a 1 to 10 if i had to rate it i would give this one a solid eight and a half nine but i would love to see what it looks like in hand the images the shoe looks on point and i feel like the holographic feature is definitely a hit or miss but you would have to see it in person to see if it really hits on the shoe or not if you have them in hand give us the feedback of course in the comments below next zion we're going to talk about drop september 7th of 2022 also retailing for 120 20 bucks like most zions these feature the mix of leather and mesh materials featuring a black and white color blocking other highlights was the multicolor squiggly scribbles on the overlays and midfoot strap which i thought was pretty unique it actually matched the box personal branding on the tongues and insoles of course like he always has the strobe unit on the midsole this shoe is very unique i like the color combination even though this here features the white and black color blocking i do like this one a little bit more than the dynamic turquoise or the diamond hope because the white is part of the back of the shoe and the toe box and front part of the shoe has more of the character and color let me know if you guys agree with that or not what do you guys think about this colorway and if i had to rate this one i would give this one a solid eight and a half this next zion 2 is honestly one of my favorites it dropped september 21st for the retail of 120 the hyper royal colorway was definitely one of a kind in my opinion do come in a hyper royal white and black color scheme and it does feature the mix of textile materials along with the crack elephant print i do like that overlay on the shoe the color combination to me is what really got me that blue on the upper is just one of a kind and like i said it's one of the best colorways of the zion 2 in my opinion if i had to rate this one from a one to ten i would give this one a solid nine nine and a half maybe even a ten on a good day to be honest after that hyper royal drop i believe they turned up the heat with the releases of the zion 2s these dropped october 19th for a retail price of 130 this was called the hyper crimson as you can see it has the hyper crimson base with the light blue accents and rubber outsole it came constructed with a mix of leather patent leather and mesh materials which i'm a fan of everything else about the shoe all the detailing is pretty much the same except for the materials used and the color scheme one to ten scale let me know what you guys think about this and i think this is one of his more flashy creative colorways that had dropped i would give this one a solid eight and a half nine also it was definitely a unique colorway and i was very surprised to see them at the outlet so heavy but it is a clean colorway and you might be able to find it now for a discount but hey that's pretty much every shoe Next up, we got the Zion 2 Pelicans, which dropped November 17th for that retail of 120. Like most Zions, they come with a mix of materials. These feature the leather and mesh upper dressed in coconut, while the tongues, inner booty, strap, and heels each feature red and navy accents which i think are pretty dope i do like how one shoe has this jordan logo and the other one has zion williams initials which is very unique i like this colorway and it stands out to me compared to most from a one to ten i had to give it a solid eight next zion 2 we're going to talk about is the red suede which dropped february 14th valentine's day for a retail of 120 I thought these were much better by the images, but when I see them in person, I felt like the suede was just a little bit ashy, but the shoe itself was definitely fire, coming in the red and black upper with the constructed mix of textile mesh and suede materials, personal branding on the tongue, insoles with the carved initials, with that gum outsole from a one to 10 scale in person. I gave these about a seven and a half, eight, but let me know what you guys think about them in the comments below. Next up, we got a Jordan Zion 2 Barley Green that dropped during the spring of 2023 for a retail price of 120 bucks this right here gave me spring summertime vibes almost gave me a tennis court vibe too like if you wanted to wear these on a tennis court or the ocean the beach definitely spring vibes with these shoes these zion 2s came in barley green flash crimson volt and mint foam as the color scheme constructed with a mix of leather and mesh i mean i should just stop saying that because every one of them or most of them came with a mix of leather and mesh materials with the same branding and logo goes all over the shoe it's really about the colorways and the materials which they did use some mesh and suede on this one i do like the color combination from a one to ten scale i give it a solid seven and a half eight 
probably a solid eight. Let me know what you guys. Next up, we got the Zion 2 Naruto versus Sasuke, which dropped February 28th for a retail price of $130. These come in a black, laser blue, yellow strike, dark purple dust, and metallic silver color scheme. The character's colors represented on these shoes are pretty dope. I like how they have one shoe pretty much with the yellow and the other one with the blue. You can't go wrong with that. One at 10 scale, I would give these a solid nine, maybe a 10 just for the creativity with the special box as well. Did you get your hands on it? And let me know what your overall opinion is on this Zion 2 in the comments below. Initially, when they dropped, they were a hot commodity going over retail. But now, because everything has changed a lot drastically, you can pick up a pair for about 100 or less. So if you have missed out, this is now your chance to go ahead and pick up a pair of this Zion 2, which is actually pretty dope. Next up, we got the Jordan Zion 2 Black Cement, which dropped October 25th for a retail price of 120 bucks. Coming in the black, light smoke gray, and siren red color scheme. You cannot go wrong with that. These Zion 2s feature a black Nubuck suede upper match with a speckled pattern on the midsole. Pan homage to the Jordan 4 Black Cement. I do like this color combination. I've tried these on. They look great on feet. Let me know if this is a colorway that you like. Do feature an aged look with an off-white outsole. And I do really like the siren red pops on the heel, the tongue, and the outsole of the shoe. This Zion 2 is definitely one of the best colorways. And if I had to rate it from a 1 to 10, I'm going to give this one a solid 9. I really like that black upper with just the hints of that gray and the siren red popping on the shoe. Really makes this one stand out a little bit more to me. But I love your feedback in the comments below. This next Zion 2 is very dope, unique. I like the color combination. This is definitely a 10 out of 10. I was not fortunate to see this in person. Let me know if you guys own this one. Retailing for 130 bucks. Black, light menta, and photon dust was the color scheme. One of the best color combinations out there for the Zion 2, in my opinion. The colorway is on point. It does have the suede and mesh materials. You have the cement print on the straps. Colorful shoe, but very subtle at the same time. You have the iridescent splash on the toe box, as well as around the heel collar. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this, and what do you rate this from a 1 to 10 scale? Hopefully at some point I can get my hands on it. Honestly, one of the best colorways by far in my opinion, but you guys let me know if you agree. Next up, we got the metallic gold Zion 2 coming in white, metallic gold, and vast gray as the color scheme. These also retail for 120 bucks. I do like the gold accents on the heel and tongue like you see on most Zions. The accents of the shoe is really on point. All white shoe, can't go wrong with that. Would look good on the court or summertime rocking them with some shorts. Let me know what this Zion 2 does for you. Where does it rank from a 1 to 10? And where does it fall in line with all the other ones? If I had to rate this one because it's pretty much a plain Janer, I give this one a solid 7 in my personal opinion. Next Zion 2 was one of the more later colorways that's added. This one is very unique. It has that white base with this uh suede overlay and with the suede overlay as you can see it has the camo print you can never go wrong with that these shoes are comfortable if you ever tried on some zions if you haven't tried on some zions you definitely should they feel good for walking around casually they have good support around your ankle and achilles and i have had an achilles issue before so this is right up my alley the color combination is not bad photon dust and flash crimson you can't go wrong with the color scheme the black laces sit just right from a one to ten scale, I would have to give this one a solid seven. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway in the comments below. The next Zion we're gonna talk about is the Full Moon, which dropped May 30th for a retail price of $130. These Zion 2s come in Cholesterol Gold, Crinton Tint, Alley Blaster, and Topaz Gold as a color scheme. 130 was the retail, so $10 more than normal. The color scheme is on point and the materials are really good. It comes with a mixture of suede and canvas, which is a little bit different using the canvas on this one. The stitching is on point as well. This is definitely one of the more unique colorways. I don't know if it's a top five or top three colorway for me, but if I had to rate this from a one to 10 scale, I'd give it a solid seven and a half, eight. I want to be generous and give it an eight. Once I seen these in hand, I was impressed. But I don't know, something about the colorway is not hitting home for me. Let me know what you guys think about these, of course, in the comments below. Next, I want to talk about the Zion 2 Fossil colorway, which was pretty unique because it came with a special keychain that has Zion's logo on it. The color combination wasn't bad. The leather and the cracked suede on there, of course, is never a bad combination. 1 in 10 scale, I would give these ones a solid 8. I love the color tone and the quality, of course, on the Zion was on point as well. This Zion 2 Last Dance came in Fossil, Cell, Team Gold, and Universe read as a color scheme it also retailed for 120 bucks and dropped october 27th this was definitely one of the zions that i did not see around that often but the colorway was definitely on point and it did have a little buzz when it dropped 
but let me know if this is one that you added to your collection or was this an easy pass. Rate this one from a 1 to 10 in the comments below. This next Zion 2 is one that I actually tried on in the Nike outlets. I do like this color combination. I like how it feels on feet. This is the black and metallic gold colorway. I love the black suede. You have the mesh materials in the upper. The white midsole for the shoe just hits the color blocking perfectly. And the gold accents is just laid on the shoe on the right spot. Now this Zion 2 is honestly one of my favorite colorways that have released out of all colorways that dropped. If I had to make a top three or top five, this is definitely in there for me. Something about the subtleness of the color scheme, the black suede and that new buck. You got the mesh and the white midsole. You can't go wrong with this. I have to give this one a 10 in my opinion. Let me know what you guys Thing. And besides that Zion, I think this one right here gives that one a run for its money. It might be a first or a second, I'm not sure. You let me know which order you will put it in, man. This is the Raptors colorway of the Zion 2. You got that purple suede, black suede, mesh. You can't go wrong with this color combination. It's just on point. I never got a chance to see these in person. The resale is not too crazy, but I feel like this might be the best colorway between the black metallic gold, which we just saw, and this one. It's one and two, one A, one B. Let me know what you guys think. I'd have to say this is one of those Zions that held its value, held its resale market. For a size 13, it's definitely like 160, 175. So there is a little uptick on the resale for this shoe, but I definitely might grab it sooner than later. So we've got about 19 to 20 silhouettes of this Jordan Zion 2 with a lot of banging colorways. And I would love to know what your top three or your top five colorways are of the Zion 2. Which ones do you guys own? Which one do you guys feel is trash? Give me your feedback in the comment section below. I said Jordan brand is on fire. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. Let me know all the bangers, of course in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.